Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this we'll be talking about how you can build your own custom agents like Playwright agent for that matter. If you remember, Playwright released this new agent called as Planner Agent, Generator Agent and Healer Agent. And we also discussed how you can use these agents to perform the uh, planning operation, generation of your test cases and also healing of your existing test cases that you have got. So that is what we discussed earlier. And we also saw that the Planner Agent or Generator and the Healer Agent are nothing but a bunch of uh, the commands or the prompts that is used to perform the operation like a, a completely well-written prompts so that your large language model can understand and perform any operation. And we also saw that the moment you have these uh, chat modes agents or a specialized agent sits uh, in this particular GitHub chat modes folder, you can also see them uh, sitting in your agents over here, which is something very neat because now you get the entire context to your large language model. But where exactly you can do all of these by yourself? Because it's just a file, right? So just go and search in Google on the chat modes for uh, the GitHub Copilot. So let's go and search for chat mode uh, GitHub uh, Copilot over here. You will notice that there is something called as use chat modes in VS Code. So this particular operation, it says that chat modes are a way to create specialized AI agents that enables you to tailor the chat behavior in Visual Studio Code for specific task or roles and vs code comes with three built-in chat modes ask edit and agent which is nothing but these agent that you are seeing over here this is already a specialized agent which is built by microsoft in the copilot and that's exactly what you are building over here for playwright as well as you can see over here so essentially if you follow along this particular documentation you can see that it's nothing but just an md file with a bunch of markdown syntaxes that you need to follow and then you can have your own custom agents and guess what all these operations are done using the syntax from agents.md and i have also told about the same in my earlier video where i was talking about how this entire agent systems work and this is exactly what it is so agents.md is a simple open format for guiding coding agents used by over 20000 open source projects and if you just scroll down a bit you'll wonder that how many big companies are really using this particular agents.md almost like all the big companies that you can name in like Codex, Z, or Jules, or VS Code, GitHub Copilot, Cursor, like all the big companies are using the same format. And if you want to go a level further, there is also a website called as the uh, agentsmd.net. And this is the place where you can find even more details. So these are the agents MD guide for the OpenAI Codex, as you can see over here. So you can see like how the Codex is using, the OpenAI Codex is using to create an uh, agents.md file and if you want to uh, create a sample md file or want to view the example md files you can go and click this browse examples over here where you can see that there are uh, like 14 examples of the md or agent md files that you can create and have a visual so see this this is a playwright end-to-end -end testing automation guide so if we're gonna go and click this particular md file you will notice that how this md file is being structured over here so you can just copy this and paste it into your dot github slash uh, chat mode and then playwright agent dot md file something like that then it is going to do an do all the operation which you can actually do it from the playwrights agents as well so as i told you you can create your own agent using just following few patterns and i have already created a simple very very simple example of a uh, agent over here where you can see that i have created an agent for the business operation so you can use this for business uh, writing and scaffoldings and stuff you can also create an agent for the ci cd operations but let's say you have got a code which you need to deploy in ci cd pipeline and you want to write a bunch of uh, uh, the actions for your github then you can just use this agent to write that for you immediately and similarly if you want to use the agent for the development unit test generations development healing of the existing code and planning of your development unit test you can also do that and similarly you can also do for the testing operation and the ui ux designing if you want if you have any so all of these operations are going to be done by using this agent deployer and i've done a simple uh, javascript file which can do all these operation for you just to show you in action like how this thing works so let's say i have got this particular uh, application uh, in my machine or my project and i wanted to use this particular uh, agent deployer for that matter so all i have to do it is just use npx and then uh, copilot 
setup over here and you can use multiple flags over here. So let's say I'm gonna use the flag for testing over here. And if I hit enter, you will notice that it is gonna show me that uh, these are the operations available, like all development testing uh, over here. So you basically need to use two slashes. So immediately if you are gonna enter something wrong, it is gonna show you the particular operation or action over there. And I'm just gonna give the command as hyphen hyphen testing. And if I hit enter, you will notice that it is gonna add a GitHub and there is a tester.chat mode. And guess what? This particular chat mode is going to be added for you over here. So instant and so immediate, right? And let's say you want to clear this particular screen. And if you want to add a few more uh, agents for your testing purpose on development purpose for that matter. So you just say uh, development over here. And if you hit enter, it is going to add the development chat mode as well. And you're gonna get three more agents over here. And if you're gonna be adding few more, maybe just say, all over here, you are gonna get all the chat modes immediately. And now your project has got all the chat modes which is required for your development, testing, like business operations, CI, CD pipelines, and UI UX design. So you can create these agent exclusively for any specific operations and you have everything there. This is the very, very neat way of how you can actually create all these agents for a specific operation and this way you create your own agents, like maybe custom agents for your testing, development, CI, CD pipeline and business operations and even anything that you can just think of. So this is the way that you can create your own specialized agent for a specific purpose so much easily. And this gives an entire context for your MCP servers for that matter, because you can specify the tools that is required for the, uh, the agents to be used. And also it gives a context to your large language models, for example, the Cloud Sonnet 4.5 or the Grok models or any model that you are really using. These informations are gonna be very helpful for this model to work because they are using a standard which the large language model can easily understand. Well, as that said, let's see how we can start using these custom specialized agent within our code and see how it can uh, really power our, uh, our applications uh, as well as how it can help us do a lot of different operation with just one single command. So you can see that this is one of the agent that I'm gonna be showing in this particular demonstration, which I have built over here. Here. Well, this agent, what it does is like, this is an agent which is going to create a GitHub action workflow for CI CD pipeline. So this is very exclusively for the GitHub action workflow, not for the Azure uh, workflow file that you're gonna be creating, but this is just specific for the GitHub action workflow. And you see that these are the tools which this particular agent is going to be using. And I'm also saying that you are a CI CD pipeline architect an expert in creating robust GitHub action workflows for continuous integration and deployment. And your mission is to analyze the project, generate an optimized GitHub action workflow file tailored to specific technology stack and deployment requirement. For example, if you are using a Java application and if you're trying to create a CI CD pipeline workflow for GitHub actions, then it is going to be creating or generating the workflow based on the Java project. If you're using the .NET project or Node.js or Python or Golang project, it is going to be a different workflow for all of these projects. That is the way that it's built. This particular agent is being built. And you see that this is the workflow that I'm going to be specifying over here. And this is the workflow design that I want to create. And I'm also told to create the triggers for the push-pull request and also for the multi-environment support like development, staging, and production. And also do a matrix build for the multiple versions and platform. And all these scannings and uh, depend on bot you need to add as well. And I've set almost everything which is required for my particular project. And I've also given an example like how it has to be done. And once I have all of these, now what is gonna happen if I'm gonna use this particular agent, you will see that all the magic is gonna come up with this particular agent. So for Demonstrating this particular operation, I'm gonna take a real application this time. And the application is nothing but a uh, application that I was actually showing you for the playwright test earlier. So what I'm gonna do this time over here is I'm gonna install the CI CD operation or CI CD uh, specialized agent this time. And the moment I run this and install it, you will notice that there is gonna be this guy over here, the CI CD chatmore.md file. And now I'm going to use this agent to go and generate the workflow file for me. And this is a .NET based application as you can see over here. And I wanted to create 
the workflow uh, file for the YAML uh, of the GitHub action just for the EA web app this time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say generate the uh, the workflow for me and I'm going to go and uh, choose the file which is the EA web app over here. And do not forget that the agent that you're going to be working with is the CI CD specialized agent not the normal agent which come up with a uh, GitHub Copilot, right? And now this is the only command that I have gave. And the moment I hit enter, you will notice that because this particular uh, agent has got the complete understanding of uh, the toolings, and it can also go and read the project structure for me because we have given the tooling support over here that it can do. And now you can see that it is going to go and uh, start analyzing the project and then uh, it is going to start creating the workflow file for me. So I'm just going to wait for the workflow file to be created and you'll also notice that it's creating workflow for multiple workflow for different purposes. So we'll just wait and see what's going to happen. And you will notice that it has created the uh, ci.yaml file, deployment.production.yaml file, deployment.staging, and everything over here. Look at that. See, so this is the power of this particular uh, agent that we have got. It is going to immediately do everything for you because it also knows that our application has got a Docker file as well as a Docker Compose file. So based on that knowledge, it is building things for me over here. And you see that we have got the different YAML files for different environments, which is quite amazing and quite neat. So this is something that I feel like these kinds of agents are going to be doing. And I'm also telling you that because we have got this kind of specialized power by just giving the prompts instead of writing codes for an agent. And now this is going to open a whole lot of uh, opportunity for any person to go and start creating agent without writing even a single line of code, just prompts. And they can start using it with the power of this chat mode because now you have got everything as like a one single template. So any organization who is gonna let the engineers to start using these kinds of agent, which is very restrictive with a specific MCP tool they wanted to use and also a specific operation they need to perform, then they can create these kind of specialized agent and distribute among the engineers and they can start working it as well. This is quite powerful to be honest. And this is something I really feel like one of the most powerful features that Microsoft has released as a part of their Visual Studio Code. And this is going to be very, very helpful while you're going to be working with a non-technical person as well because you are going to have or give them an agent. They're just going to use the agent as if like they are using the ask agent or edit mode and they're going to get all the benefits immediately with just one single prompt, like generate workflow for me and it's going to do everything for me. That is the power, guys. These are the powerful uh, way of how we can create the custom agents with the power of the chat modes uh, available in Visual Studio Code. That's it guys, this is all about the way that you can create custom chat modes yourself, like how Playwright did using the Playwright agents. And I hope you really like this particular video. Just let me know your thoughts about all these discussions that we just did over here. And also how you have used these custom specialized agent within your organization. And if you're planning to build one, what will be your use case? Let me know all the details in the comments below. We'll discuss about it if something very interesting comes up. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. Catch you in the next one.